Hey guys, today welcome to this channel. I would like to show you how you can bypass passcode on iPhone from 5S to iPhone X. So if you have a phone then you don't know the password. This video is for you. So before I start this video, I would like to put up some steps you guys to follow so the first thing we need to do is to jailbreak our device you jailbreak it then after that on dfe mode dfe mode then after that one we download ramdex Because you'll be using that file after that you boot into ramdex so you boot ramdex the next one is to back up our activation files backup activation files The next one is to reset our device. So after resetting, you jailbreak it again. Then pawn DFU mode. After that, we activate. Let's start. I'll be using these tools connect your phone first of all your phone needs to be in a recovery mode i'll be using three tools to check because we will be needing some information from three tools before we proceed Turn off your phone. After turning it off, you press and hold your own button, then you insert your USB. So we are now in recovery mode. You need to jot down this information. Islam on the beat. We'll be needing the version. So my AS version in this case is 15.7. Then you need this one to as well. So this one is your product type. So the product type is iPhone iPhone 8 1. We will be needed this one. So make sure you do this step before you continue. Open this folder, then you click on WinRain. This is where we do the jailbreaking. Disconnect your device and reconnect it. Okay. iPhone 6 says connected in recovery mode. Select the first option. Select the first option, you click on next, you click on start, so you have to use the side button and the 
come button for three seconds then you release the side button after three seconds while you keep holding the home button so now the jailbreaking has started which will be completed very soon Done with the jailbreaking. The next thing to do is to pawn into DFE mode. I'll be using this to I ponder. Run I ponder. We are done. So the next thing to do is to download your RAM disks. Check under the description below to download your RAM disks. In this case, my iOS version is 15.7. So you select iOS 15. Uh, then my product type is H1. So you select H1 here. I'll be using this for iPhone H1. So you look through the file. So you need to download this. You need to download this file. After downloading, you need to copy your file. So this is my file, copy it, come back to this folder, open the link folder, boot and paste your file here, now go back, double click on this. You need to disconnect your device again. Then you connect. So what you need to do now is to copy your device ECID. So you copy it here, then you register it here. You paste your ECID here, you click on register. Now your device has been registered. You go back to this app or software. You click on options, then you select passcode bypass. You click on back, you click on start. So, this is where we need to select our version here, which is 15.7. You select IS 15, then you boot your device. The device has been successfully booted into SSH mode. You click on OK. You click on Next. So this is where you have to back up your device, which will include your activation files. You click on Backup by device. Now our backup has been successfully completed. It 
says activation files has been saved successfully we click on ok come back to this folder click on it then you come to backup you click on the zip file you click on this file Here you can see our iCloud data. This is the email address and the normal link to our iCloud. We are done. What we need to do now to reset our device. So we click on erase i device. We click on erase. Are you sure you want to erase your data? Click on yes. Congrats, high device is successfully erased. Now we need to complete our final last three steps. we have successfully reset our device what we need to do now is to turn off the device again for jailbreak so after the reset we need to do the jailbreak as it's you can see so let's turn it off you turn off the device again and remove your cable to boot into recovery mode again and it we go back to open this tool again we're using WinRain click Click next, then start as usual. The break is starting again. We are done with the breaking again. Now we need to pawn BFU mode. We'll be using the same tool again. Run I ponder. We are done. All done. So you need to come back to this file. You need to come back to this program. You select options. You select passcode bypass. You click on back. Start. select your version again now this is where we activate our our device we're going to decompress the boot file booting our device I device successfully booted into SSH mode. You click on this. Activate our device permanently. You click on activate I device. Islam on the beat. Click on yes to block updates and reset. 
meaning after this one you cannot try to reset your phone again unless you flash it you click on yes activating our device I device has been successfully activated. We have completed all the steps here from the job breaking to activating. Congrats, I device has been successfully activated. Now you can use your phone and your signal will work. As you can see, my signal is working perfectly. Let me put down the control. As you can see, I'm disconnected. That's it. You can see the signal works. You can check your settings. 